You're looking at the International Space Station uh, flight control room as a team of flight controllers watches over all of the systems aboard the orbiting complex. The crew uh, comprised of Expedition uh, 35, including uh, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield, uh, you see in the uh, lower right seated. Uh, he's serving as the commander of Expedition 35 along with Roman Romanenko and uh, U.S. astronaut Tom Marshburn, you see standing behind him. They have uh, been aboard the station for 102 days now. They were joined uh, this past week by the newest crew members uh, of the uh, International Space Station. Uh, Pavel Vinogradov, uh, Alexander Mazurkin, and Chris Cassidy are now uh, part of the Expedition 35 crew. They uh, have been aboard the station for four days now following their launch earlier on the, uh, last Thursday. The uh, six crew members uh, have spent uh, much of today uh, working on some experiments on board, some maintenance activity, uh, swapping out a, uh, a failed pump on uh, that's associated with the urine processing assembly of the station, also conducting a number of uh, scientific experiments focusing on human research. Much of this week uh, measuring any changes to their eyes, uh, their visual acuity, uh, as well as uh, their diet, uh, maintaining their diets on board and taking uh, notes on uh, their eating habits as well. These six crew members uh, divide and conquer throughout the day on uh, activities around the station. The three newest members focusing on uh, adapting to uh, life aboard the International Space Station uh, as part of their early uh, transition from uh, Earth's one gravity environment to that of the zero uh, gravity environment of the International Space Station. Additionally, the uh, crew members are getting ready to uh, assist the ground with a, uh, a very complicated restructuring of the uh, station's communications system that will eventually, over the course of the next week to two weeks, uh, greatly enhance the uh, scientific uh, capability of the complex by adding some additional uh, space-to-ground communications loops and also some downlink channels for uh, visual uh, to allow for even more uh, scientific experiment work aboard the station and all of that uh, will be conducted throughout the week. So the uh, crew, having had a uh, fairly quiet weekend, uh, is now uh, back to work aboard the station as, with, as a full complement of six crew members that make up the Expedition 35 crew.